What's up and welcome back to the channel. The name is Ninja Knight. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell up above for future uploads. Check out the links posted in the description down below. Consider joining the channel today and thank you to everyone who supports the channel. So as previously reported, I did a video on McFarlane Toys going to do Snyder Cut figures and we have a forced image and what seems to be a leaked image of Darkseid. Now in that video I talked about that Batman, Superman, Aquaman, The Flash, Steppenwolf, Cyborg and Darkseid would be coming from McFarland Toys. What's interesting about Steppenwolf and Darkseid is that they are $39.99 instead of the usual price of $19.99. So I think that this is a very interesting thing that McFarland is doing. If he's going to scale these figures and have these bigger figures then to scale with the likes of Batman and Aquaman and Superman. I am all for this and I do not mind paying a higher price to have these figures in scale. So let's take a quick look at Darkseid himself. And I have to say, something that I would be impressed with with this company is, is if they had the 3D renders and the 3D files that they would have been given from the likes of the studio to make these figures. And I have to say, if anyone can bring out details on these figures, it's going to be McFarland Toys. I am critical of the articulation sometimes. I am critical of the sculpts and I am also critical of the scale. But I have to say it looks like that they've nailed this one and it seems to me that Darkseid might have double jointed elbows which I am absolutely delighted by if that is the case. It certainly looks like there's a bicep swivel here that there's definitely looks like a bicep cut here. Possibly a ball joint here at the head which I'm very happy with because this is a guy with a face that has full of attitude in it. I like the design of what he's wearing and then he's coming with this weapon. It's quite unusual to see Darkseid carry a weapon. We always view him as one of these really powerful characters. So what's going to be interesting to me within this film is are they going to show a young Darkseid which seems to be the plan and then are they going to show an older version of Darkseid. This seems to be the older version of Darkseid as opposed to the younger version of Darkseid because as far as I know the younger version of Darkseid does not wear any armour. So maybe we'll see this as the movie goes along. I'm very excited about this. One thing I will say about the McFarlane Toys figures now is because Hasbro have moved into the game of doing pinless technology it certainly makes pins stand out to me now. I would sincerely hope that McFarlane might look into this then himself and I think if he's talking about something that he wants to have good sculpts and he wants to make it look as realistic as possible, it should be something I think that he should concern himself with next. Now, like I said, I've talked previously about McFarland's sculpt. I've talked about the scale and the issues that he's run into over the last year of having the DC license. It has gotten better, I will say that. It does seem to have gotten better under it's very good leadership there. For example, the likes of Ty Butler who seems to be very enthusiastic about this brand. So I hope that this continues to improve and get better and better. Like I said, it's unusual to see him here with a weapon. I'm hoping maybe there might be alternate hands, maybe an alternate head with this figure because if they're paying $49.99, given the fact that it is a lot bigger than the other figures it seems to be, I do hope this is packed with accessories. So as you can see down here, we're looking at the rest of the armor. The legs look nice, they look beefy. The design is quite unusual, looks quite scaly, kind of like cracks that he has there in his legs. And I think that this is something that's very interesting to look at. I'm very much so looking forward to seeing what McFarlane releases for the remainder of the line. We know the line, it seems to be from the Snyder Cut. It seems to be popular characters. I'm looking very forward to seeing how he pulls Steppenwolf out. Because I think Steppenwolf, given the fact that he has silverish kind of reflective armour... I think that that could lend itself to a very nice figure and it would be something that's going to be really different then for McFarlane. So this is our first look at McFarlane Toys Darkseid. I would hazard a guess and say possibly he might be 9 inches by the looks of what he looks like there. Possibly could be 10. I'd be surprised if he's more. If he is, that's fantastic. And at 39.99, well worth that then I think in my opinion. I'm all in on this line. I cannot wait for the Snyder Cut. As you can tell by me, I'm very excited by this. And I have to say, I think that this is a design that's really cool. And a very nice, forced, in interesting push on Dark Side for this movie. So, I hope that McFarlane gets the hint and starts making more characters that are like this. That are more alien characters. Particularly, I would love to see Red Lanterns, for example. And I hope that this is the push to finally put McFarlane down into... 
different figures. We do know that he's where he's doing a Batman version of Darkseid, which is I think for a lot of people probably not that interesting. But it's nice to see him moving into this now that people are saying, right, okay, we want these figures. Look at what Mafex have been doing over the last couple of years. They have been really doing well in the DC line and they're absolutely going to be doing figures, I'd say, for the Snyder Cut. But as we know at Mafex, it could be a year or two years away before they get into hands. Whereas this is going to be coming now, as far as I know, in the next couple of months. I'm hoping to see more images drop. I'm hoping to see pre-orders drop. So let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell up above for future uploads. Check out the links posted in the description down below. Consider joining the channel and I'll talk to you later. Good luck.